What's up guys? It's kind of windy and horrible up here, but 40 watt solar panels made it onto the roof of the house. I'm just going to make up some brackets for it and mount it up on this higher roof. Next, it shouldn't get any shading because that direction's north. That's northwest. So if uh, around here, that'll be that'll be fine. That'll get me the most gain. Um, oh, I've used some two and a half millimeter TPS three core house cable to just run pretty sloppily for now. I'm actually going to buy a couple of 200 watt panels, I reckon. But yeah, that's going to run down and over there towards the front room. We'll uh, head out there now and uh, terminate the other end of it to the solar charge control. See if we're actually getting any power. Okay then. So, here's the end of the uh, previously mentioned cable up on the roof. Then we have it going negative straight into the charge control. Positive doesn't loop through old multimeter that will read up to 10 amps. It's fine, it's only a 40 watt uh, panel so we're not going to get too high on there. We're reading 0.16, it's 160 milliamps because it's fairly dull and horrible out there. And uh, went almost at proper charge, we're at uh, 12.3. But it's still pushing something into the battery, so that's all that really matters. Um, battery's just propped up nicely sitting on the wall there. Uh, I'll run through it and just do a balance check a bit later, but it seems all sweet now. Uh, basically, I'm going to get, I've got a uh, USB extension cable. I'm just going to connect that USB extension cable so it sits over here on the uh, turn of the desk to run the video cameras and uh, whatever other 12 volt devices I really want to run and uh, charging 18650s and my power bank when I uh, bring it home from work, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, quite happy. Um, before I placed the leads in there, I'll just give them a quick test to see what voltage I had. And I had 20.2 volts all the way down here at the end of this cable, so yeah, that should be should be absolutely fine. Um, I believe an electrician can probably correct this for me. In Australia, for a shortish run um, with no tap-off points, just a straight line, I believe you can run 20, 25 amps off this 2.5 millimeter. Um, I think they call it TPS, I'm pretty sure that's what it's always been called. Um, house cabling, the only downfall with it for this kind of application that I'm doing now is it's not super flexible. You'll see there's a bit of a bit of a loop left in it so it's nice and long. I didn't want to waste any. But uh, what I'll eventually do when I get some big panels is uh, get some 6 millimeter stuff. And I'll probably mount the panels directly above me here rather than at the back of the house. This probably runs 20 meters now. So it goes up the side of the house onto the roof and uh, up to the panel you'll see in the start of the video. So uh, slightly creeping up a little bit, the sun's come out. It's still far, really gloomy, really gloomy. But uh, if it's pushing 180 milliamps into the uh, battery pack, that's free. That's free power. So uh, what I'll do is I'll work out a cost as if I bought these 18650s in the packs uh, the way I buy them uh, in power tool packs and uh, the price of that which was only $14 or something like that I'll work out the price of the cable and work out how much the um, solar panel cost me it's only a 40 water so it's only pretty cheap and uh, we're actually going to stick an inverter sitting on the shelf here run off this and uh, I'll put a kilowatt meter, kilowatt hour meter in the front of that and uh, we'll see how much power we can run through it and uh, see how much uh, money we can save just for the sake of a bit of a play around exercise after Christmas and everything's done I'm going to buy some big panels 200 watters uh, might even see if I can get hold of a second hand grid tie set that's a bit shit, nice and cheap. But yeah, that's in. Thanks for watching, guys. Just had one of them little brain waves. You don't get them every day. When you do, they're normally pretty handy.
what do I made her? Off a uh, like a lipo remote control car or whatever. That's directly connected to the input of the um, charge controller. So that'll always tell me what's coming out of the solar panel heading to the battery. Which is still charging. And it frees up my multimeter to uh, keep an eye on the cells. Thought I'd better take this on the end here because I think this is a good idea. And it'll give us an amp hour and watt hour number. I think it up to 9,999 amps, maybe. Amp out. But, uh, we'll let that tick over and see what kind of thing we get to. It's a little bit of blue sky coming out outside. Um, hopefully we see this more up near the 40 watt mark. Thanks for watching guys, if you uh, want to know anything, feel free to shoot me a message or uh, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, catch us on the next one.